Hey, what's up guys, sv 2 xl here. So, we just published a video about how AI could have the potential to take over 800 million jobs. And you can go see that video if you like, but we've seen companies like Apple and Samsung brag about how their phones have been built with AI from the ground up. Those ones even still have a catch because we're still yet to get some features with Apple intelligence and God knows when that's going to be out. But just this year alone and a couple months in, we've seen tons of companies bring out new AI models trying to compete with Open's AI ChatGPT. We've come a long way since ChatGPT launched in 2022 and we keep seeing big improvements with these AI models as they keep improving every single day. So today we're going to test each one and we've chosen four specifically to see which one is actually the most efficient, reliable and accurate. So the way we're going to approach this is we've picked out seven categories and points will be awarded to each assistant based on speed, accuracy and other stuff as we proceed. I've decided to use phones for this test because you could easily just download them from the Play Store App Store. You could still use a web browser but depending on what you use on a daily basis, anyone is fine. I've chosen phones today because we believe it's the most convenient and it's just easily accessible. So without wasting anyone's time, let's get into the first category. Just to quickly run you through the UI of these AI models and award the first point. ChatGPT and DeepSeek have almost similar UIs. Only notable difference is maybe the text is smaller on GPT as opposed to DeepSeek. And the list of suggested requests GPT has right over the chat box. Other than that, no notable difference. With Gemini, it's a very simple UI, but greets you with this hello and your name. Pretty much nothing you can do aside from change the different grades or modes. I believe that's what they're called, but we'll be sticking with 2.0 Flash for the purpose of this video. Gork, on the other hand, when you first launch the app, it only gives you the option to either continue with X or Twitter and the Apple. If I didn't know, I would have just missed the choice to pick the other option. But once you finally get to login, it then asks you to upgrade to Super Gork. You could just skip this process and then you're finally greeted with a clean UI. Very much different from all the others, but it seems to have somewhat of the same chat box with GPT. It has a bunch of these suggested modes where you can speak and have an actual conversation with the assistant and boy, was I having fun with it, but we'll get to that category, so stay tuned. But you've seen all these different modes and their UIs, but we have to have with our first point and I don't think there's any doubt, it's pretty much obvious who gets it. Gog takes a point for UI because even when I tried to run the web version of the app, it was just super clean. So no doubt, in my opinion, it takes the win here. So. Onto the next category, which is simple questions. Just so you don't have to sit through and watch me go through a bunch of questions that we ask this assistant. And so what we're going to do is share my thoughts and opinion on how each of these models performed with each question and award points to them based on their performance and my observation. Basically, every one of these questions are things everyone should know and have the answer to. One was kind of subjective, but it's interesting to note that each model gave similar answers to each of these questions. But here are some observations. So GPT, when typing a question, would typically bring out suggestions on what it thinks you want to type. If you just give it a couple of seconds, Gemini would every time give you the answer to a question with sources and different articles relating to that answer. Gork tells you the answer basically, it goes straight to the point but then follows up with questions it thinks you might want to ask next. DeepSeek is just really slow when giving you an answer, although it still gives you the same answer as the rest of them. But overall and generally, the one to give you the answer the quickest was either Gork or GPT. All on the same internet speeds and Wi-Fi connection, too close to call which one wins the points for speed, but we'll give that points after we've gone through every category. So in this category, every one of these models gets a point because they all answered the question correctly. Except ChatGPT, who first said Dani Alves was the most decorated footballer in the world, but then changed its mind to Messi. Other than that, it was fine. But overall, each one did good and they all get one point. On to the next category, which is complex questions. So in this category, we could only award a point to one of these models and basically we asked two questions and the model that actually edged off to get the point was because it had limited information but still tried to improvise and here's why. So for both questions, Gemini, DeepSeek and Gork all gave similar answers with excellent and really good breakdowns. But GPT just beats them over the line to steal the point because it gives out a detailed time and event for each activity 
which again like i said giving little information still did its best to come up with that suggestion so in the long run you could modify anyhow you'd like and that's where gpt just steals the point because similarly to other models it still gave the same answer so it's interesting to see gpt pull one point back and leveling points with guok but let's move on to the next category which is performing task so you probably already use this model for a ton of stuff and performing tasks is just one thing these models are good at but we had two questions in this category which we had to scratch up one leaving us with just one question but it only gets interesting from here so we asked each of these models to send an email to a friend about a tech and skincare events in a manner that is friendly and naughty and i should tell you we have a creative category but these models can get creative really really quick so gpt not that interesting but got the job done for a friendly mail they all typically did good but when they were asked to send a naughty mail you could try this for yourself but like i said they could get creative really fast and reading some of these mails felt like i was reading a whatsapp novel but the assistant that steals the point here was deep seek because it has this deep think feature which makes it expand its thoughts because one of the key functions of these models is their ability to think and react so it would eventually take its time to think usually about 20 seconds and after that it spills out the best answer to the prompt question it was asked but in this category i have to give the point to deep seek because it has this deep thing feature but emphasis on it takes its time to answer the next category is information summary we only asked one question because these assistants have gotten so good that you could just throw in a whole article and essay and it will give you a summarized version of that article so a point to each of them so time to get creative you already and me have seen pictures of people asking this ai model to create pictures and videos and at this point they're already pretty good amongst the three questions we asked each model they all just went straight to the point asking it to write an alteration with the letter w about life although gemini just did what it did but every other one got creative and actually gave out a real tongue twister you should try saying this Whimsical waves washing within weary wanderers, wishing, waiting, waving wanderer, winds whisper wisdom where we feel worry, worries, wild winds world welcome wild eye wanderers, walk wisely, wield warmthly, watch wanderers wake. <laughs> that was a mouthful. And writing a video script again, they are all pretty good, but Always remember to fact check because they're prone to getting some facts and numbers wrong. We could give a point to Deep Seek. When we asked it to write a tweet in the style of Lady Whistledown about why you should subscribe to XV2XL, shout out to all Bridgerton lovers out there. But each one of these models got a point for being creative. So, final category. I think you already pretty much know how excited I was just talking about Gork, but stay with me here for a minute. All three models, GPT, Gemini, and Gork, all have voice assistants. Deep Seek happens to be the old one out, no voice assistants. Now, GPT and Gemini all have a range of different voices you could possibly choose from. So, depending on your preference and how you want these assistants to speak or sound, have different options. Gork has Aria and the other one with the unpaid version. I think you upgrade to Super Gork to get more options, but for now, just Aria and the other one. So, just asking it random questions and trying to hold up a conversation, the one that happens to do this the best, can you guess it? Yes, all three of them. If you guys go out, lucky you, but every single one of them, except Deepseek of course, can hold up a conversation, but here's the twist. Even though all three can hold up a conversation pretty well, when you close the app, can you guess which one continues to listen? I'll give you a minute. Yup, you guessed it. All three of them. Sorry, I'm just kidding with you. It's Gork. Yeah, so even when you swipe up and go to the home screen, Gork tends to listen on the conversation. Although, I don't know how I feel about this one, but for this category, I'm going to give the point here to Gork. Yeah, and don't try to read the conversation I was having with Aria. Really, don't. So that's all the category done. We've seen how well these models perform and my thoughts on each one. For speed, it was a tight one between Gorg and GPT, but I'd have to give the point to Gorg because GPT had this one moment where it just took too long to answer a simple question. So Gorg gets the point for speed. Other than that, they're all generally fast, except Dipseek. That guy is just too slow. I think it's worth mentioning, just for transparency, of course, that we had to run this test twice. 
And even though they still gave the same similar answer as the second time we asked the question, there are some things I noticed with GPT and DeepSeek. At first, when we asked which smartphone had the best camera, GPT and DeepSeek would give suggestions from previous years, particularly last year's phones. But at the second time when we asked, it was a more recent suggestion. Gemini and Gork would oftentimes give you recent suggestions. Gork, on the other hand, would sometimes say, based on this fact and based on today, this is what he thinks. Although they all seem to say Real Madrid has 14 Champions League trophies. I mean, why? But other than that, they're all good and in most cases would get the job done. So after all this testing, what are my final thoughts? Which one would I be using moving forward since Gork was the winner? But it depends. And here's why I say that. So phones already have built-in personal assistants like Siri and Gemini already in Samsung phones. And these companies are trying to find a way to make these AI models and assistants coexist together in one device. I've been using GPT for the longest and it pretty much gets the job done regardless of what tax you throw at it. But if we continue to see companies throw out more AI models, I think at this point it's just for profits. But it's good to actually know that these models would typically get good over time. They are good, but we typically still get good over time. And I may be switching to Gork just for one reason. So I don't know. But just a quick one. Be careful what you say to these models because it could get hit really quick. So remember, at the end of the day, you are still the winner. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.